Hey everybody, it's Keith K again, and we are back in the South Pacific. In this episode of our playthrough, we are going to leave our initial base here on this smaller island and head over to that island there. Uh, we're up early, it's about 5 a.m. Make sure that we're ready, and then I want to try to hit the water as soon as the sun comes up so that I don't get sunburned uh, or have sunstroke trying to get from this island to that one. So. Uh, first thing to note is that island is off to the southeast, um, and I keep tra track of this on paper so that I know, uh, you know, which islands I've been to, and I can make note of what's on that island, etc. Uh, we're going to put that compass right back into our raft storage, and I've done a bit of harvesting um, in between the episodes. And I've organized our crates here um, to carry the things over that I want to make sure we have. So stones are very important. And as far as I know, they don't respawn. Uh, same thing with wood. We're going to need wood for structures and so forth. Uh, cloth is renewable once you make a loom. But uh, we're going to want to get a water still up and running over there uh, as soon as possible. Um, same thing, you know, as much as wood as we can carry. I've got uh, a couple of fishing spears that we found um, on some of the boats nearby, the wrecks nearby the island. Duct tape is always great to have. Uh, and then these two is more wood and some spears. And then uh, we've got room in here. Let's see what else we want to put. Let's grab some more wood. are all full and then we'll just leave this guy here I'll just put him there all right so in terms of what do we want to bring uh, we'll bring as many of these containers as we can fit because we can't carry this much on our own right so it's well worth it uh, let's check our stats too I did cook a couple of crabs so let's go ahead and eat these so they're not taking up space That'll last us for a little while, and we'll drink three of these. So we're in good shape there. Uh, we've also got one um, one serving of water there, and it looks like we can handle two more items. So hopefully, this will let me take both of these and still have a free hand. Okay. Yep. Um, so I think that's going to do it because we'll need a hand to hold our paddle. Let me see here. And we maybe it'll fit one more thing. Um, we don't need to bring these uh, engine components. We'll come back for these at some point. Let's grab a coconut. No, let's bring our lantern. That's actually really useful. All right, so we're headed to that island there, which is off in the southeast. I'm just going to push this in. We're going to climb up and then operate. So we're going to, need to go backwards a little bit. All right, and I am going to head off to that island. It will take a little while to paddle uh, in this raft, so I won't bore you with that, but we'll be back as soon as we get close. And we're back. Uh, we're a lot closer now. And we can see there's a couple of shipwrecks over there. There's a shipwreck there. That looks like it may be right up on the beach, which will be handy for us. Uh, we've got some really tall trees. And we may have some structures on here. Um, now, one thing that... Let's actually park it over here. One thing that is fairly new is there is... There are giant crabs and giant boars, and they are not friendly. Uh, so we're going to have to be on the lookout for that. 
So let's get ourselves up here. Let's drag this up onto the beach. So far, I don't see any threats. There's the giant crab, I'll bet you. Uh, and let's just stack our boxes here. This will be our base of operations. Yeah, that looks like a giant crab. And this is why we've made four spears. We will need um, to be careful of him. There's another one. So I don't know how this is going to go because they will bother us until we get rid of them. Yeah, he's coming straight for me. There we go. Not so bad. Let's see how much damage we took, though. Eh, not terrible. So let's skin this sucker. Oh, gross. We'll get multiple pieces of meat out of him. Okay, I think I chucked a couple spears, which I'm not the best at that. Let's see if we can find them. Looks like we've got prior inhabitant here. <laughs> Wally. All right, that's a tribute to the Tom Hanks movie. Is it Castaway? So we'll leave him there for now. Uh, we don't need any of that right away. Fish trap, that will be handy. Um, Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get ourselves set up nearby um, and I'll get the campfire set up and a shelter set up. Uh, since we just saw all that on our other uh, episode, I will uh, take a break and come back once I've got that squared away. Alright, and we're back. So I've gotten the water still set up. Uh, the crab that I had to fight. I cooked some of that meat. So we were down three. That's a medium sized cooked meat. It gave us two. And we definitely need some water. Uh, we're still waiting on the still to produce some. I think we'll be okay. Uh, and I've done a little bit of collecting and unloading of our crates. The next thing to do is probably go back to the tutorial. Actually, before we do that, one thing that I think is very handy uh, is having a smoker. So the meat will last longer than if we just cook it. And I believe we've got everything we need. Cloth, one lashing, three wood sticks, and then a fire pit, which is really just three rocks around a campfire. So. Uh, that's really the only thing I did off camera that I hadn't done in the previous episode. So, uh, if we find our lashing, and we have the cloth, and we need three sticks, so we'll grab one, two, three, come over here. Is that going on? I kind of want it here. So we can see it. Our camp is kind of this way. So you can use the um, Q and E keys to rotate this so that it's not in some random direction. We'll put that there. And now we can hang meat on the smoker and just smoke it. I'll show you how to use that in a little bit. Uh, and then we will craft our hammer and craft a wood foundation and start our build. Uh, before we do that though, let's uh, actually let's go ahead and craft the hammer. So for the hammer, 
we're going to need two rocks, a stick, and a lashing. So first, let's see how we're doing. No, we don't want that. Uh, we need four fiber. Got one, two. All right, so we're short some fiber. We're going to have to go gather up some fiber, fibrous leaves. And there is still one more giant crab we have to be on the lookout for. There's also a snake on this island. I'll let you know when I hear it. Oh, look at all this yucca. This is fantastic. We're going to get lots of fiber here. This is a great location. Fiber sleeves are one of the most important things in terms of resources because you use it to come up with your lashings, which you use to build just about everything, or craft lots of advanced tools, but you also use it to fuel your water still so that you can continue to have a stream of steady, fresh water. And we'll be able to build more cloth. At some point, we'll probably go to a second water still. When we uh, begin farming, it's probably going to make sense to do that at, at that point. There's another crab out here somewhere. So we gotta just be on the lookout for him. We can we can certainly beat him. Uh, we just don't want to be taken by surprise. Okay, this video is running a little bit long and I'm trying to keep these under 15 minutes. So I'm gonna stop it here uh, and we'll come back with a follow-up episode uh, to wrap up the initial setup of our base. Uh, if you are enjoying these videos and get something out of them, please do like and subscribe. I'm really hoping to get to 1,000 subscribers um, in the next month. Uh, that's my goal. That's kind of motivating me to put these out right now. Uh, and would definitely appreciate it if uh, you're able to subscribe, uh, especially if you're getting something out of the video. I'll keep making uh, this series to help get you up and running. And I'll have the follow-up to this uh, video up in another day or two. Thanks, everybody. See you back here soon.